Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install AdGuard Home on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is AdGuard? So if you go to website adguard.com you can see here a brief description of AdGuard, okay? So it's ad free actually software. Okay, so as you can see here, it blocks all kinds of ads, it removes annoying web elements, and also can save traffic and speed up page loading. And it works for uh, browsers and application also. And it maintains set functionality and appearance. Okay. So here, of course, you can see that you can download it on a multitude of platforms, Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, okay? But here, we're gonna actually install it on Proxmox, and especially on, actually, Linux. And we'll be using an LXC container for that. So here, I'm on my Proxmox virtual environment. So as I told you, I'll be installing AdGuard on LXC container using a template, okay? So all I have to do is to just click this link here, create container, okay? So the containers are actually uh, very fast and they didn't require actually a lot of resources. So that's why I'm choosing LXC container here. So let's name it. So our container will be actually AdGuard as name. And the container ID, as you can see here, is 156, okay? And here we provide the password for the root account. So you can enter whatever password you want. So me, I usually use this password here. And I will go next. And here for the template, you can install it on any template you want. But here, as I told you, I'll be installing it on actually a Debian template. So I will choose this Debian 12 standard version. But you can, of course, install it on any Ubuntu, on Rocky Linux, or CentOS if you want. So let's choose this Debian 12. Okay. And I will go next. For the disk, I will keep with the default, which is 8 gigabytes, which is more than enough. I will go next. For the CPU, I will just keep one virtual CPU, okay? And also for the memory, 512 megabytes are more than enough. So we'll go next. And here is the most important step is actually the network configuration. So for the bridge, usually we'll choose the default one. Here I have two, I just created actually one. But normally you will find this VMBR0 as the default one. And of course here you can provide the IP address of your actually ad guard. So for me, I'll be choosing 182.168.1.109. Slash 24. So you enter here your uh, actually uh, IP address according to the network configuration that you have. Okay. You can also choose DHCP if you are using a DHCP server. And for the getaway, I will choose mine, which is that one that two. If my memory is good. Okay. Next is our DNS server, so I will just choose the Google one, 8.8.8.8. .8 but of course you can use any DNS server that you have, for example, Cloudflare, which is 1.1.1.1, .1 .1 .1 .1, which is pretty easy to remember. So I will go next. So there is a summary of all that we have configured so far. So I will just hit finish. And hopefully the container number 156 will be created and the name is AdGuard. Okay, so the task is okay, everything is okay. We can get rid of this window. 
and on the left we can see that actually indeed a container has been created with the name of AdGuard so I will click on it and I will launch it in order to see what we get so I will launch it here start I will go to the console to see actually what's happening and as you can see it was very quick very fast faster and as actually a virtual machine so I will enter the credential that I have actually provided before okay so I am in I can verify the IP address using APA so indeed IP address as you can see here is that one that 109 so let's verify also the ping to the DNS server there we go so we have everything we need so normally you will uh, just execute an up update in order to update your system you can do that if you want so it's usually a good start to update your system so you can just launch up update and update your system okay but me I'll just move on to the installation of AdGuard okay so as I told you it's just a script that you will run so let's go back to our AdGuard website and actually here we'll be installing AdGuard home which is free okay so how to set up and you can find here on this github all the actually commands that you can use or script that you will copy so this is actually automated install for Linux, Unix, Mac OS, FreeBSD and OpenBSD okay so all you have to do is just to copy this uh, command and paste it into your server okay and of course you will find all the links on the description okay so let's go back to our proxmox and paste the scripts so here you can see that uh, AdGuard home is now installed and running okay and of course you can control it using this command here with the sudo command to start to stop and to restart the service okay so now all I have to do is actually to reach this address here as you can see on port 3000 in order to configure it so let's go to our web browser and type the IP address of our server which is that one that nine and the port is 3000 okay so here we go we get this uh, welcome to AdGuard home so we have to follow the steps and here normally you will just allow the internal interface and not all the interfaces so I will just choose mine which is Ethernet 0 okay and same thing for actually the DNS server okay here we go so let's go next and here we have to provide actually uh, an admin or you can choose whatever username you want so me I will just choose an admin here as username and I will enter a password for it and of course here you have to configure now that we have AdGuard you have to configure it as DNS server for your devices so if you have a router you can see here the instruction how to configure it as DNS server if you have a Windows machine you can do that also using these instructions here and you will go next and finally you are in if you open the dashboard here you will enter your credentials and you will get actually access to your AdGuard dashboard okay so of course here I get nothing no DNS queries no block filters because I didn't configure my machine as a DNS server okay so let's do that so I'll just right click on this uh, network and internet settings 
and I will go to my Ethernet card actually and I will change here the DNS server. So before I was using the Google DNS. So now I will change it to my AdGuard server which is that one that one zero nine. Okay. So let's open a web page. So let's try for example to access a website in order to get queries. Okay, so here I'm connecting to cnet.com just to generate some traffic. Then I will return back to our uh, actually other cards here. So if I go to the dashboard, you can see that we are generating some DNS queries. Okay, and hopefully we'll be blocking also filtering also some traffic. And of course you can get access to the log here in this uh, tab. You will see all the different uh, access with the client IP addresses. Okay. But the most important thing here is the settings. So you have to go to the settings. For the general settings, there are just some tweaks that you can do. For example, you can use safe search. You can check this uh, actually checkbox and enable safe search for different uh, actually search engines. Okay, you can also enable login and also query log or rotation. You can change that if you want, it depends on your needs. You can set the statistic retention. Okay, and also you can go to the settings and DNS settings. This is the most important thing here. So normally here you will find by default actually this DNS uh, quad nine, but me I change it. I used different other servers, and you can find all the other servers in this list here. You just copy and paste in one line. So here you will find all the other guard DNS servers that you can use to protect your network. Okay. So make sure to check that also. So there are some examples here if you want to actually do that. So there are many, many different settings that you can tweak, but we will go in details in other video to show you how you can tweak actually this uh, other guard settings. Okay, so that was just a brief video to show you how to set up uh, other guard as Linux container on Proxmox. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the subscription actually bell so you don't miss any future content. And if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comments below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.